Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. It was last night where I came across um, this video which was uh, caused by a, uh, a comment on the comment section and I just decided to look this person up and one of the channels that he has that he subscribed to was uh, a YouTuber named Johnny Walker Dread, and uh, he, me and him talked a lot, debated like you know on the whole Kyle Rittenhouse thing. Uh, we always kept it civilized, as it, you know. And of course, I'm not the type of person that would just talk shit to somebody, make insults like saying, "Well, I know what I'm talking about. You're stupid," and or to say something dumb about the way they look or or whatever or vice versa I, you know i don't believe in doing stupid shit like that to begin with because it's it's schoolyard it's immature and what good does it do you know uh even though i, I debated with other people and there was a, there was some that insulted me and i just like didn't even bother to even talk to them i would just block them out But with Johnny Walker Dread, uh, with him, even though we're in, we're both in, in the opposite side of the fence, he believes one way of Kyle being the hero and me thinking, thinking the opposite, you know, I'm not saying that he's like an evil person or whatever. I just think that he has, I think that Kyle Rittenhouse has some serious issues. That's all. Some very serious issues and I think he actually screwed up now I don't have any any um, argument of, of him you know claiming self-defense but it's it just seems it just seems to me that there's, there's just something uh, more to it that we're not being told something just doesn't make sense to me and I feel that like there's some information out there that's being held out so, uh, anyways, I wanted to thank him for, uh, for at least, like, taking the time to, uh, you know, to present me on, on his, on his channel to talk about me and stuff like that. Cause I just came across it and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> this guy's talking about me. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, there was a few things that, uh, I think he went a little bit, took a little bit out of context, out of the whole, you know, on, on certain things that I said, as far as, you know, like, um, he uh, provoked it by, when Kyle um, put out the dumpster fire, you don't get people angry, because um, obviously that's going to provoke somebody to attack him. Now, I think, now, Try to, try to say, for example, because I would think that this is a good analogy. If, let's just say that, um, that someone was walking in a, in a bad neighborhood and that person had a, um, a Rolex watch, um, a necklace that was expensive, some very nice shoes. Uh, which I know according, you know, like in, like in my day, in, in high school, you know, especially during the early 90s, people would get shot and killed, you know, for their shoes. Or they'd get jumped for their shoes. And they're expensive. And there were a few people that I knew that got jumped and, and they got their shoes taken away. And one guy that I know that he was, that he got killed. And they took his shoes. Now... If you're, if someone was wearing something that would draw attention to to a bunch of thugs, and he, and he uh, went to a, a particular area, either to, either to visit a friend or to, or or to go to a grocery store, and he knows that there's gonna be there's gonna be uh, 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 getting attention from thugs, but he still go he still went ahead and said, well, fuck that, I'm still gonna wear what I'm gonna wear. I'm still going to go to the store. I'm still going to go to my friend's house. Fuck that. I'm not going to 
put away some, some of my stuff just so I won't get robbed. And he went ahead and, and, and wore it. And then sure enough, he got messed with. He got jumped. He got beat up. Now, whether they, whether they killed him or whether they just beat him up and took his stuff, either way, whose fault is it? I can't completely put the entire blame on him 100%, but I can put 50% of blame on him because he should have known better not to, uh, he did provoke it by uh, walking through a neighborhood in which there's a bunch of thugs and knowing that there's a strong possibility that he could have been um, jumped and have his stuff taken. It's not fair, but that's just how it is. But at the same time, it's also 50% the fault of the thugs because you just don't do that. That's fucking wrong. That's just how it is. And it's because some, one, one person was saying, you know, is it, uh, is it the fault of the person who's wearing all these things that, that has drawn attention and then he gets robbed? Is it his fault? Well, to a, to, a, to a degree, 50%, yeah, it is. Is it completely his fault? No. I would never say that. And the same I would say for the people that uh, robbed them. So I'm trying to say that it's partially Kyle's fault for provoking it, that he created the havoc. And, you know, I mean, we could, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, people are still gonna say that, you know, that's not, I'm wrong about that. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm stupid or whatever. They could say whatever the fuck they mind, but that's just my opinion. That's all. If you, of course, you don't have to agree with it. You know, you're, I already know that. You already know that. And, uh, even though we never, me and Johnny Walker Dread never had any, any like face to face or, or like, uh, video chat or any other, any other kind of way of uh, communicating because I don't have Facebook. I don't have Instagram. Uh, I'm not on Twitter. I don't care for those things, really. I just don't care for them. Maybe in the future, I might, I might uh, have a Twitter account or a Facebook. I don't know. Maybe in the future. I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about that and to talk about him and so I just want to say thanks, you know. I hope you get a lot of publicity from it. <laughs> I know I wouldn't in a sense. I don't know. But uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.